All right, welcome. In this video, we are going to introduce the exciting topic of JSX. Now, JSX is an extension to JavaScript, which means that it can process things that normally was not part of the syntax of JavaScript, and it will run things behind the scenes. Now, if we come into our JSX starter theme and look in our index.html, we'll see here that we have React and React DOM like we did before, but we've also got Babel. And if you haven't come across it, what Babel does is transpile JavaScript code and rewrite it into something else that other browsers can understand or that older browsers can understand. So we'll be using Babel quite a bit as we go forward, but eventually it'll kind of become invisible and run in the background through tools. Now, you never want to run Babel like this in production. We're doing it in this case uh, just because we're learning and it makes it simple so that we don't have to have any build tools to write JSX. However, because JSX is an extension to JavaScript and JavaScript itself doesn't know what to do with it, we have to use a tool like Babel to rewrite it into something that does make sense. Now, as we look at these examples here, we're going to talk specifically about what JSX does and what it's doing behind the scenes. So zoom in, give ourselves a little bit more room here, and we see that we have our script inside of text Babel. This is, again, just for practice settings. As we go on, we won't use this. All right, so now we see a very similar practice exercise. It says, create a PL, which is already created, and use JSX to create a paragraph element with the text, hello React. So if you remember last time, we had to do something like this, right? Is this looking familiar? Cool. Now, with JSX, I'm gonna comment this out. Well, let me leave it out so that we can see it, but I'll have to comment it because uh, it'll break. So what we could do with JSX is write what looks like normal HTML. Okay, so here's how JSX work works. JSX will scan your entire JavaScript document looking for a syntax like markup. Okay, so it has within it the ability to parse your entire JavaScript file and look like markup. Now it's gonna distinguish between what is text, remember, because this is a string of text, this is a string of text, this is a string of text, but this is not. So it knows to look for this, and behind the scenes, you know what it's going to do with React? It's going to call create element. It's going to take this value, whatever it is. So if I had a mm -hmm, duh, buh, 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 tag, it would take this, pass it into create element, find any children that are going to be between the opening and closing, and it will put them in right here. Okay, so this is what JSX is doing behind the scenes. It's allowing us to write what looks like HTML, and then it will parse it and call create element behind the scenes for us to create the exact same thing, okay? So that's JSX. Now, some people really don't like it and it takes a while to get used to, but most people, once they really get comfortable using it, prefer this to another approach. Now, the big downside, folks say, is that then we have our markup in our JavaScript, yes. React is a user interface library and it has made the decision, especially in partnering or not in partnering, but uh, most people use React with JSX, even the official docs are written in JSX. They have decided that yes, in order to create user interfaces efficiently, we are going to have what looks like markup right there inside of our JavaScript. All right. So that takes us through the practice exercise number one. Um, that's all that's going on on the page. If I were to comment this out here and come down into React DOM and place it here. Now remember, this is still a native React element. This, even though it looks like markup, it is not. If we log this out, we get the same React object we saw as using this one. However, once it's passed through React DOM render, then it becomes a native, or then it becomes a native DOM object, sort of. It's a bit more complex than that, but we're gonna go with that for now. So let's go ahead and test this. All right, the first thing we're gonna see is that it tells us we're using the browser Babel transformer and that this is not a good idea because it has to live transform all of your code and that's uh, not ideal, but for testing and learning, totally fine. Or more for learning, it's totally fine. All right, so we see we've got that element. If we click on it, um, we can see that it is a normal paragraph element here. And if we were to come into our React tool set, we would see that it is a normal React element. And once again, just to confirm, if we were to do um, console log this and take a look at the console, we would see 
that it is a React object. So just because it looks like HTML, again, don't be fooled, native React object, just a simpler way of creating it. And there we have it, our first introduction to working with JSX. Let's now go through a few more exercises because there are actually a lot of rules to JSX and how to use it that we need to learn about.